Every patch has its winners and losers and 14.6 is no different. In this video, we'll be covering two busted champs for every role right now. One champ will be perfect for destroying the lower and middle ranks, while the other will be our top pick for grinding to challenger in 14.6. And hey, before we go any further, today's LOL video is made possible by Raid. Now, before you go judging, have you ever actually tried it? Raid is a turn-based RPG with over 800 collectible champs. And you can secure yourself $100 in free rewards by clicking the promo link down below at the top of the video description. It is completely free to play and can be played on both your PC and any mobile device that you got. So go and click the link right now to claim your free $100 worth in starter rewards. It does help us keep on doing what we do over here at Game Loop, and it's a sweet game that you can blast in between your League of Legends queues. So without further ado, sign up right now via the link below. Let's start off with high elo top laners. The highest win rate top laner in Master Plus ELO is currently Rek'Sai, but some pretty substantial nerfs to Fury Generation will affect its placement in the top lane, as well as nerfs to her overall sustainability, which is the main strength of the champion. With this in mind, it is a bit disingenuous to cover win rates as a main focus point for top lane in the higher ELOs. In 14.6, there were a few changes to the role, but it is clear that the best champions you should be playing to climb and carry in the current state of the game are not the the solo carry top split push type, but are instead the team fighters. This means your focus should be closer to bruises that can affect both their lanes and team fights. In high elo, no champ fits this bill better than Jax. If you need a strong spacer that can 1v1 any carry, a split push demon that needs multiple people to take him down, then Jax is your guy. The build path for Jax is going to be Trinity into Sundered Sky into Sterax with situational tank items. Your goal on Jax is simple, make the enemy's life revolve around you. Push the pacing of the game to be centered around your item spikes. Look for fights on each completed item and the early sheen timer, either in your own lane or in creative places like the enemy's jungle. Next up, low elo top. The biggest standout for low elo top laners looking at win rates and play rates has to be Ergot, which is surprising. He boasts crazy dominance in the lower MMRs with a surprisingly high pick rate. Normally champs like Ergot are only picked by a small minority of players in the lower elos, but as of recently, more and more casual players are picking him up to challenge the meta that has been forming below Emerald. Ergot specializes in punishing the enemy's mistakes and in low elo, there are many more mistakes to be had. He is harder to gank post level 6 because of his inherent turn threat. His current best performing build is Holebreaker into Black Cleaver into Sterex. This build allows you to be a real threat on the side and a threat in your 1v1s. Then transition to more flex tanky items like Jack Show and adaptive tank stats. Next time for our top pick for the best high elo mid laner in 14.6. The champion we must highlight here is a champ that has been seeing a lot of limelight for a while because of their very strong push and roam laning power power and their teamfight altering abilities. Talia is currently sporting a 53% win rate at Masters and above. Her presence is felt in almost every high elo game, with her being one of the more banned champions in the game as well. Talia excels at shifting the game around her, with her ability to pair and skirmish well with her allied jungler, her ability to cheat timers, and to move around the map quickly with her passive make her a force of nature in 14.6. Her E ability also nullifies a lot of champions' win conditions in fights, stopping many snap engages if used properly. Talia has multiple builds to fit what your role in the game is. Either you are looking to be a defensive kiteback spacing champion by rushing Seraphs into defensive AP items like Banshee's Veil vale on Zonyas, or you could be a hyper damage focused mage by going for a Ludens and Shadow Flame build that is looking to fight and kill enemies sharpish. Either way, you're going to be able to pump out nice damage and be quick and maneuverable around the map. Now for the low elo mid. One of our favorite champions to highlight here on this channel is still out there dominating in the mid lane, especially in lower elos, and that is Ari. With a 52% win rate, Ari is able to play out many different lane scenarios with ease and to fight with her jungler, which allows for a very easy and clear condition to climb out of whatever elo hell you are trapped within. Ari has a strong lane phase and straightforward fighting patterns, and with the adaptations of the build, Ari can look for a clear entrance to just about any fight. A little known interaction is that Shadow Flame also makes true damage crit under the threshold. So with the build of Malignance and Shadow Flame, Ari has a very strong spike at two items that allows her to be a premier fighter burst mage. 
Moving on to ADC, and our pick for high elo and low elo is actually one in the same, so let's get straight to it. Jinx is insanely broken after the new changes to Infinity Edge, and the overall game state changes have created a scenario in which she is outperforming in almost every metric in both higher and lower elos. We are back to Jinx elo inflation, and if you are looking to climb as an ADC, you should really consider blasting the ladder as Jinx in 14.6. She currently sports solid win rate in all ranks with a play rate of above 6%. We personally believe that in solo queue, she might even be the strongest champion to blast in the game right now. She has a scary lane phase with her Q. Early game, she's almost guaranteed to push if she's been playing the waves properly. And in a majority of early fights, she is very quick to scale because just one kill essentially invalidates any disadvantage you took the fight in. In mid game skirmishes, she's able to take over with a pretty strong two item spike of static and Kraken. And that infinity edge, she becomes an absolute demon that is able to warp the entire fight around her. She's the only target that matters in many scenarios. And if she is left alone, she will take over. She also pairs well with many of the supports that are doing well at present while also being easily adaptable depending on your playstyle. Next we move on to the junglers starting with high elo jungle. The best high elo jungler of the patch in terms of win rate in masters and above is actually rumble but because of its insanely low play rate covering rumble probably wouldn't do y'all that much good. A damn strong champion with a pretty high pick rate and play rate in 14.6 is Xin Zhao. We have highlighted before that Zin is a strong jungler, but with the recent changes and the ability for him to punish high range hyper carries in both the early stages and in the late game fights, Xin Zhao's time to shine has arrived. His ability to fully separate the team fight when played front to back while having a high amount of agency allows for a very clear game plan. And with Zin's fairly simplistic kit, you can spam in a ton of games with a very low execution threshold while still playing a very strong early carry. He also absolutely abuses the enemy jungler if you're able to find him on early timers just because of how easy it is to fight and win because of his Q and passive. Your item setup doesn't really change much throughout each game. You almost always go a setup that includes Sundered Sky, Titanic and Black Cleaver in almost any order depending on preference. You got these items in order to sustain yourself throughout the fights and to play for faster, higher damage combos in the mid game. Currently, Xin Zhao plays closer to a drain tank that also gets to pump out as much damage as an ADC if played out properly. Now for the top low elo jungler. The highest performing low elo jungler is Volibear by a majority of metrics. Even after his nerfs, his gameplay loop is far too easy to execute and remains far too strong. He clears way too quickly and healthily for an early game ganking jungler. You're almost always going to be able to find consistent advantages that will snowball the game in your favor. You also seldom lose straight up 1v1s versus the enemy jungler, so you can choose to overtake one side of the map super easily. This means that you can choose one lane and enemy quadrant to sit in for an extended period of time simply because you were able to win both the 1v1 and the gank setup, making the enemy's game absolutely miserable to play out. The common build setup is Sundered Sky into Dead Man's Plate into Flex Tank items. There is another setup that favors the early Sheen Spike with Iceborne Gauntlet, which makes you more tanky and able to be much more of a nuisance in the team fight phase. These builds and setups are pretty strong because of how Volibear's Q and W interact with auto attack augmenting items like Sheen and Sundered Sky. And finally, we arrive at supports, starting off with the high elo support pick. As things stand, the meta of supports has to match the meta of the ADCs, and it is clear with Jinx and other types of hypers becoming more prevalent, enchanters will probably see an uptick and a rise in play rate. Currently, Janna sits at the top of the food chain with a steady 52% win rate and a 12.5% play rate. The strength of Janna is that she controls the lane almost fully, able to almost 1v1 the enemy ADC in the early stages of the lane, while also scaling well because of her massively overpowered peeling tools in her Q and ultimate. The current build setup is much more aggressive than other supports, almost making her a Polk Mage hybrid with a W Max setup and Mandate Rush with Zagzax. This setup allows Janna to actually scale beyond just being another shield bot and clearly creates the purpose of playing to stop the enemy team from overloading on top of your carry. And now for our low elo pick. Currently, 
In low elo, the same support meta is present, with a majority of games being played with enchanters and ranged supports over engages. However, because of much less cohesive games, champions like Blitzcrank and Thresh are having a much easier time and a much higher win rate. I would like to take the time to highlight Blitzcrank in low elo. Everyone knows the story of a low elo support dying on wave 1 because they don't know how to properly space between the enemy Blitzcrank or the unguarded level 1 invade. This champion has always been strong, but currently in low elo, his win rate and play rate are at an insanely high point. Blitz is demonstrating his ability to warp the game around his one key ability, and with less coordination amongst your enemies in the lower ranks, his Q is an absolute menace. So, did you agree with our picks? If you didn't, and let's be real, you almost certainly didn't, go ahead and drop them down below in the comments. And while you're down there, remember to click the promo link at the top of the video description to kickstart your fresh new Raid Shadow Legends account with $100 worth of free rewards. It is completely free to play and is a happy little game that you can blast in between your League of Legends queues. For now, thanks for watching, and we're going to catch all of you guys in the next one.